I am literally just walking along and what do I see just right here behind me, if I can show you, is a ramp. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use Mosier 1 to measure it and show you that we were not only going to get distances for elevations, gradient, rise and fall as well. So let's go for it. I'm going to place it down here at the start. My first point is captured. Let's do this. See if I can get to the top before it gets to six to eight seconds. Go, 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 go. Yes. Capture the point. Next one. Got that one. Let's make our way down. Nice. Now let's finish it off. Bam! Oh, yes, we've got it. So let's stop that measurement. And now, if I can show you, I'm going to go around the corner here. Can you see? That's the plan view. We've got the measurement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 3D for you. Where are we? There's the 3D. If I pan around, can you see there? Not only have we distance, we have elevation. And if I show you the cross section, let's pick any point. X, Y, Z, Z referring to the elevation. Let's go to the cross section tool. Another point down there. Can you see that on there, you have got the length, the rise, and the run. If I do a deeper dive into cross section, go to gradient. My gradient is one in 12 and five degrees. I can zoom in and get more accurate numbers on there as well. In little under two to three minutes, I have captured the total length, the total area, the total perimeter. I've got my angles and I've got my gradient, all with this small little magic box of tricks called Mosier.